What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of issue you're currently having uh, with crash on storied up or crashing on storied up in seven days to die. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know and let you guys know that, that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys who would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really thank for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step I want you to basically do is gonna be to navigate to the very body, bottom of your screen. You're gonna right click and open up your task manager. Next step is gonna be to navigate to the top left corner, clicking onto processes just, just to ensure that you're sticking around it. Clicking onto one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and type in 7 in order to find 7 days to die. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, right click and end the task. Once you're finished, simply end the task manager. And the next step is going to be to take your Steam or 7 days to die shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, simply navigate to the bottom left corner. Click onto the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right back on your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click it and go to run as an administrator. This will make your game pop up. And if it doesn't fix your issue, the next step will be will uh, do it. So you're gonna take your shortcut again, right click, go to the very bottom where it says properties, click onto compatibility and simply go to compatibility mode and enable run this program in compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8, disable it, disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator, hit apply and okay. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored it, you should be able to see this little administer symbol all right on your shortcut. I want you to simply double click it and launch your game over the launcher, launch your game. This will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just trying to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye. 